welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry it took me so long for uploading a video, um, but here I am and this is a pain with me. Uh, I know you guys really missed it and I miss them too. To me, painting is so therapeutic, like it's amazing how it just clears my mind and I feel like when I paint, I'm feeling like alone in this universe, me and the paint and this is really, really cool. I feel like I learned the little things from life and I want to share them with you guys. I feel like you don't need to be born with this special talent that people say like, oh, you need to be super talented, you know, to be able to paint or to draw or whatever. But I do feel like um, being creative and painting and drawing and designing, you learn to do that. You can learn how to do anything. It's true that if you were born with a talent, like, yeah, it's, it's easier. I get it. But anybody can learn um, I learned a lot from in, in university and uh, by myself and you can just totally do that too um, okay so regardless of my painting I found this photo this gorgeous photo online and I've been trying to find the photographer or the model but I just can't find it I'd only find Pinterest ideas <laughs> with this photo um, so if someone knows the author please please let me know so I can give him or her the credit that they deserve. Anyway, so as you can see here, I always start with like a light wash of um, sienna, a sienna color. It just, I feel like it adds this mid-tone that um, helps me just creating the lights and the shadows way easier because it's, uh, if I start with a plain white, I, I don't know what to do, honestly. I feel like overwhelmed with the white. It's not very technical, it's more intuitive. I don't know if that makes any sense. What I do is like I start with midtones and then I start adding like the uh, uh, darker color so I can have some contrast and some depth in this painting. Um, something that I really like to do that I have probably mentioned in the past is that I don't tend to finish everything. Like I love how loose um, the strokes uh, might look um, and also like not even like finishing the hairs as you can totally tell. I'm not doing hair at all. I'm just doing the main shadows and creating some depth on it. And that's about it because I feel like if I do every single hair on her head and on her um, eyes and, and brows, it's just... I don't know why, but I feel like it loses uh, power. I don't know, it's so weird, but that's, I mean, at least that's how I like to do it. But I used to do like super, super detail thing um, when I was like younger and I started like drawing and painting. I was just doing every single pore of the face. Um, so yeah, it's just really cool how we change and how we like find our style. It's pretty cool. me a little bit of time to to take painting back this summer because as you may know um i moved to la and i'm here with my boyfriend and as you may know maybe like we've been in this long distance relationship for like maybe two years or three years and it was it was hard it was tough sometimes well not sometimes like most of the time it was very hard yeah we, i just decided to move out here because i want to be with him and i also really really like how um how not maybe la or maybe california works i feel like people are just very excited about a lot of things i feel like they want to do projects and they want to uh, believe in people and they i don't know I, it's, I really really like that although i really miss the food and the warmth in spain um of course you can't have it all it's just you know 
it's just different but i, I do like a lot of things in here um i think that's that's awesome I always get like lost in the um, laziness of going to paint. It is like going to the gym. Like the fact, you know, that you have to walk, we have to take the car and go to the gym. That's the hard part. Because when you're in the gym, it kind of like, you know, goes with the flow. It's just, it's very natural. But when you have to go put the paint in the palette and just clean the palette and everything, that's, that's when I get lost. But I'm so, so happy I'm back in painting and I hope you guys like it. I think the best part is when I varnish. Oh my god, it's so cool. <laughs> because, I don't know, I feel like everything just takes a next contrast saturation level of color. I don't know. Um, so I hope you guys like it. I am willing to do, I want to do prints. I'm trying to figure out how in the best way and the cheapest way for you guys also. So um, stay tuned for that. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Um, please don't stop being creative and, and dream big. So thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye guys.